In this tutorial, we review how to synchronize Gantt Pro and Jira and the benefits of this synchronization. To set it up, you need to have admin rights in Jira and owner or administrator rights in Gantt Pro. For your convenience, open Gantt Pro in one tab and Jira in another. In Jira, go to the settings, choose products, and then application links. In Gantt Pro, go to the integration section and choose connect. It's our first step. Copy the link from Gantt Pro and paste it in Jira. Click on Create New Link button and choose Continue. We go to the second step in Gantt Pro, where we only need to name this integration. In Jira, paste the name and click Continue. The third step. We open the edit mode in our integration in Jira, go to Incoming Authentication tab, and complete the fields. Click Save and Close. Our fourth step. Copy the link from Jira, paste it in Gantt Pro, and confirm. Click Allow, and Done. Now in Gantt Pro, you see Import from Jira page. But before creating a new project, we need to synchronize start and end dates as well as dependencies between tasks. Below you will find the link with the instructions on how to do that. We start with start and end dates. Go to Jira settings, choose issues, and then custom fields. From the list, we choose Gantt Pro end date and start date, then click screens. Choose Projects where you need to activate the required field and click Update. To synchronize dependencies, go to Issue Linking, where we add four types of dependencies. Now, having set it all up, we go back to project synchronization from Jira to Gantt Pro and choose our project in the dropdown. We can apply filters to choose what issues are necessary to show after you import your project. But please, remember that all the issues are imported. I will not apply filters and import my project right away. Let's figure out what columns are synchronized, task name that you can change, start and end dates, creator that shows who created a task. This column can't be edited. Then goes assigned. Here, all people with access to this project in Jira are available. Status and priority columns show statuses and priorities from this project in Jira. And the last column includes the link to the issue in Jira. Then, we can create dependencies between tasks. As you see, it is easier to create them in Gantt Pro. We can add new tasks in Gantt Pro or Jira. So, here is a summary of what has been said earlier. You can import projects from Jira to Gantt Pro. It doesn't work in the opposite direction. All issues are imported, but you can apply filters and hide those you don't need to use. Eight columns are synchronized. Task name, start and end dates, creator, 
Assigned, Status, Priority, and Issue Key. All the issues are synchronized from Jira to Gantt Pro and vice versa, except for two, Start and End Dates. The changes in these columns are synchronized only from Gantt Pro to Jira. Also, new issues and dependencies between them will be two-way synchronized. It is worth mentioning how work with people is organized. For example, 20 people work on your project in Jira. In Gantt Pro, all these 20 people are presented as virtual resources and available in the Assigned column. It means that you don't have to pay for 20 licenses. A few people are enough to manage this project. Now about task hierarchy. In Jira, you can work with two levels, a task and subtask. But in Gantt Pro, a subtask can have another subtask, and so on and so forth. There are no limitations in making a plan in Gantt Pro. You can create subtasks in Jira and in Gantt Pro. They will be subtasks too. And vice versa, you can create a subtask in Gantt Pro and it will be a subtask in Jira too. Also, in Gantt Pro, the drag and drop feature can help you make a subtask inside a subtask. Please remember that Jira does not support this structure and it will only be visualized in Gantt Pro. In order not to lose yourself in tasks, you can turn on the Work Breakdown Structure column. Remember that all Gantt Pro features are available for projects imported from Jira. Board View, Filters, Resource Management and Resource Workload, Zoom Options, Project Settings including Project Calendar, Baseline, Export, Save as a Template, Project Archiving, and Deletion. In the History mode, you can browse all the changes in your project. Here, you can also save a baseline in case you haven't done it before. Note that in this project, we can't restore any versions as Jira can block massive changes. I will cover this topic in other tutorials. How do you find Gantt Pro in Jira synchronization? Please leave your comments below and plan your projects with Gantt Pro.